Hey everybody, it's Dr. McGlasson. I wanted to take a few minutes to give you a quick overview of our Canvas course, but it'll be a good idea when you're done watching this for you to poke around and make sure that you can find everything you need to find and see um, what there is to see in here. Uh, but I did want to give you the highlights of the areas that you'll be using the most this semester. Uh, you'll always be landing here on the home page whenever you log into our course. And uh, initially, you might find that this getting started um, button is useful. I mean, you have to go through it at least once, but it will give you uh, the general handout guideline that I gave in class. I gave a paper copy. It also has a link to the Canvas student guides from Instructure, the company that makes Canvas and a link to Chandler Gilbert's Tech Central, Student Tech Central. Um, so you may find yourself the first week or two um, using the getting started area. Also on the home page, one thing I wanted to make sure I'll always leave here is a copy of the course syllabus. If for any reason you should misplace the paper copy that I gave you in class, you can come here and download it or you can just preview it if you don't have access to a printer or want to save the paper or be green, you can come and take a look at the course syllabus and you can, you know, look at it in scroll version or I prefer to look at it in book version because that's basically what I gave you in class and it might be easier to say, oh yeah, it was in the middle somewhere. I think in particular, I mean, all of the policies are here if you needed to ever check on any of those. But in particular, most students try to keep an eye on the calendar and where are we in the semester, what's coming up next, that kind of thing. Um, should there ever be a need to make any minor changes to the syllabus, usually it's like a calendar change, then I will make sure that I get an updated version of the syllabus here. So you'll always have the most up-to-date version. Hopefully we won't have changes, but if I did alter anything, I would make sure that I uploaded the um, current version here on the home page so you'd always have access to it. Um, other than that, you're really going to be spending uh, a lot of time, I hope, looking at the announcements because each week I will post an announcement after class where I tell you um, a summary of what we did in class that day. I will list the handouts I gave in class that day. Uh, I will give you any homework that is due and the due dates for it. And then I will also say, here's what we're doing next time. So whether you were in class and you're fuzzy on some of the details so you need to check here, or if you came in late or missed class, you'll know what we did, what handouts you're missing, and what homework is coming up. So you can always do your homework. Um, you do want to make sure that you check the announcements on a regular basis. That's part of your job in this class is to make sure you're up to date on the announcements. Other than that, mostly you'll be spending your time on the modules page. Modules is where I have all of the material organized for the semester. Um, you'll notice here the Getting Started module. You looked at the Getting Started page, you are currently watching the course video tour, and next you would go ahead and do the course syllabus survey. Okay, so you can fill out the survey and then you can scroll to the bottom and move on to the next, in, the next set of material. Um, I did want to show you that I have the module set up such that you do need to move through the material in the course sequentially. You can't skip around. You can work ahead, but you can't skip ahead. You have to work your way through the material in order. Um, if I tried, let me scroll down here into section one, for example, uh, things that are this darker color blue, I have uh, taken a look at already, or I have uh, fulfilled what I needed to fulfill. For example, I need to look at the page that has the overview of section one material before I can watch the video on scarcity and choice. I have to watch the video on scarcity and choice before I can go to practice for episode two. See how it's a lighter color? It's kind of grayed out. If I click on practice for episode two, it's going to tell me, hey, you have to go back and watch that video. You haven't done that yet. So I would go back. I would um, make sure that I took a look at the video and, you know, go through that. 
um, notice on the video page that you also have a document that has the notes outline to help you take notes while you are watching the video. You can bring those notes with you to the quizzes. But once I've watched it, now I can go back to practice for episode two and I could click take the quiz and proceed. Um, these practice sets typically have 10 multiple choice questions. There are a couple later in the semester where I feel like it's really good to have extra practice where I have 20 questions, but most of them are 10 questions. Um, there's not a time limit and you get, but you do have three tries to finish by the 5 p.m. deadline. Notice it's 5 p.m. It's not midnight. Um, in those three attempts, if you want to get your point for successfully completing this one assignment, you need to get a 90 or higher. So my advice to you is, you know, if you want to just go through once and see what you can get without too much review, that's fine. If you go back then and look at your notes and watch the video more closely and you do it a second time and you're still not successful, that's the point at which you should probably email me with your questions so that on the third attempt you can get through successfully. Um, I also, I'll add a note on this, but it is also the case that in order to proceed, you have to get at least a 70%. So if I try to move on to the next thing, it says, oh, practice for episode two, I haven't scored at least a 70. So in your three attempts to get the credit for the assignment, you have to get at least a 90. To move on to the new material, you have to get at least a 70. Uh, if there's ever a time where you've gone through your three attempts and didn't get the 70, you can contact me and I will add another attempt so that you can move forward. Um, I'm not going to add another attempt and then count the credit for the assignment, but I will give you an attempt so that you'll be able to proceed through the next set of material in the course. Um, and I think that that's about it. You know, mostly the areas where I have content is the home page where you can get your initial material in your course syllabus, the modules where I have the layout of all the assignments for the semester, and the announcements page where I will always put a summary of what we have done that day in class. Um, mostly the homework that we'll have will be video homework, but occasionally we'll have um, a different kind of assignment. Let me scroll down if I can find one just to show you. Like at the tail end of um, section two, we have a, a different assignment. It's a discussion on the market for human organs, or you'll have um, a handout that you have to complete before you come into class. But those are much less frequent than the video homework. So if you always come in, make sure you check the announcements, know that you're caught up, know that there's material coming up and you've met all your deadlines, um, you will do well in the class. So if you have any Canvas questions, do please let me know so that I can get those cleared up as soon as possible and I will see you in class.